Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers, welcome to another battle report between myself, Peter, also known as Universal Head, and behind the camera is... Will, hello everybody. Hello Will. What are we going to play today, Will? We're going to play Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc, <laughs> also known as Joan of Arc, and here it is, a game by Mythic Games. Wonderful stuff, uh, it's a couple of boxes full of huge amounts of miniatures and scenarios and battles and all kinds of stuff, and in fact, in the mail as we speak is my Wave 2 stuff from this Kickstarter campaign, the initial Kickstarter campaign. Um, it's on its way at last, yay! And it's going to have like the siege engine in it and all the apocalypse and all kinds of extra stuff which I'm dying to get my hands on and paint and one day play on this channel. Um, because there isn't enough here already. No, there isn't, because <laughs> you can always have more. And in fact, there was a 1.5 Kickstarter which is uh, uh, in midway at the moment um, for those of you who missed the first Kickstarter. So what we're going to play today is the scenario. This one is it. It is called La Brossinière. La Brossinière. This is the one and I'm going to play the French and Will is going to play the English and let me give you the little introduction. Having plundered Mainz and Anjou's fiefs, William de la Pole returns to Normandy with his loot. Queen Yolande of Aragon, however, asks her most trustworthy ally, Ambrose de Lore, to ambush William de la Pole. A battle for honour and vengeance begins. Mm, actually, it's just a battle for plunder, which is in these two wagons here. It is. It's all about the wagons, this game. So what the French are trying, uh, sorry, what the English are trying to do is get at least one of these uh, wagons in the village over here at the end of turn five or round five. Keep it alive till the end so of turn five. It's going to be there at the end of round five. So we've got five rounds to play. In the meantime, I will be charging them with uh, cavalry and you'll be peppering with me with arrows and we'll be laughing and crying <laughs> and having a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Right. Or they may be tears of frustration and anger. a lot of banging at the table. Swearing. So, let's get started. Cursing of dice, I imagine. Cursing of dice. Lots of cursing of dice. <laughs> so, well, are you ready for turn one? No. Now, secretly, of course, they don't know we've played this game about four times as we work out the mistakes we keep making. Oh, God. But it's such a simple game system. It's got a lot of things that require a bit of thinking, but we're going to have a go. And have we a go. go. And we get... Three. That's the first round card. We get three orders each. And then we're going to do this. We get going to and discard. And now we get to choose one of these. Will gets to choose first. Uh, there's a lot of gaining of legend cards here. And there's also, you can convert a normal order to a charge order. So what are you going to do, Will? Oh, charge order is not particularly helpful to me. Well, they are if you want to uh, push your wagons a little bit further. You can expend a or sacrifice a charge order to try and get your wagon yeah, to move a little further. Die, and on one in, you know, it's 50-50 chance I get to move a wagon once more for free. Well, for, for that sacrifice of the green cube. Um, all right, well anyway, I'll think about that. I'm not, I don't think I want that. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to gain two, two of these. Yeah, two legend cards and a legend token. And discard you, one and dis the token. Guard, No, and discard one legend card. Yeah. So I get a legend token. Yes. And then and I discard, discard one of those, yes. Right. I'm going to convert one of my normal orders to a charge order. Alright, okay. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? <laughs> you think, excellent, that looks, I don't have enough points to it. <laughs> okay, so activate these guys. Activate! They're going one, two, three to here. He's, he can move. Two because he's got haste two, so he's going to go one two to there. Haste. Right. Now I'm activating this space and moving. Maybe you can move, put six people in these half yes, spaces. Yes, yes. Um, and you're not moving the wagon. I'm, I just moved the wagon. Oh, from there, right? Okay. I've activated this space. So yes, moving yes. In there and bringing them back. Yep. Um, Don't forget your stakes. Yep, yep, yep. The stakes are high. <laughs> now I can only fit four in here, right? Correct. So he's going to go one, two into here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to activate this area and move the wagon in here. Oh, tricky, tricky. He's got two wagons in one and space. I will, while I'm here, I'll put some stakes up here. You're going to sacrifice any charge orders to move them a little bit further? <sighs> yeah, I will. Thinking. What the hell? This is for the second wagon. Yeah! 
Yes! Oh, it does. It does. It pushes it a bit it further. There. There's supposed to be oxen dragging these, by the way, in case you're wondering. Yeah, we just couldn't fit them in the space. It looks a bit more photorealistic. Okay. okay, and now, so they're all activated. Um, now I'm going to reactivate these. Oh no, hang on, these guys haven't done anything yet. They're going to fire at you, point blank range. Ah. Alrighty. Okay. We're getting right into it, and no mucking about. I'm also going to put some stakes in here. Where? Here. Mm. Okay. So, uh, fire away. Hang on, I'm just thinking about stakes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I might put some stakes in here too. Right. Now, these guys are out of range of... Oh no, when they move there, they could fire there, can't they? Because they can do arcing fire. Yes. Right, so I'll do some arcing fire from them on you. They can't move and fire. Oh, okay, true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's a pretty crucial distinction. It's, it's a small it's, but important it's, distinction. It's, okay, it's, these guys are firing point blank at you. Okay. That's two yellow dice. That's six yellow dice. And, and shields, shields counters counters disrupts. disrupts. Here we go. And I've got to roll one more because I've only got five. That's four disrupts and a push. Wow, that's that's pretty that's effective. A pretty effective shot. I've got two reds in defense. And I get two disrupts which are utterly useless. So you're off, baby. You've disrupted all my sergeant at arms. And go on, baby, Into go on. To the infirmary they go. Now I've got to destroy them, haven't I? To yes. Get victory, to uh, get experience, experience points, points, yes. Now, I've got a reactivation token. Do I use it? These guys are on a hill, which gives them range three. One, two, three. So I could shoot you, or I could shoot you with him at range two. They're all going to die next turn, so it seems foolish not to. Yes, they're staring down the battle, the barrel of a cavalry charge. Yeah, well, they all are, let's face it. <laughs> These guys are going to cop it from both angles. But they've got more defense. So I'll reactivate them and we'll shoot again at you. Ooh. Wish um, I had an interrupt order, but I don't. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, you, you're firing these guys? Yep. Okay. And I got that and a push and one more. Okay, so I got a. One disrupt and two disrupt push. And two pushes. Not very good. Um, I've got two and two. I've got six red and one black, I believe. So. Uh, no, no defense. Uh, no defense. I've got one more red. No. Uh, so and one black. Does it never end? Yep. Cocked. Yep. Roll it again. No, what did you it was cocked. If you move the disrupt. It's clearly <laughs> cocked. Roll it again. <laughs> what? Ha! Vindicated. Thank you. So you get rid of that, but you get two pushes. Two pushes. Right. So, we're going to push two of my units. I'm going to push him here, uh -huh. and I'm going to push him here. Ah. Yeah, interesting. Broke up the, uh, the cavalry a little bit there. Yes. Right, what do you got next? That's it. That's it, you're done. All I've got is interrupt. So, now I'm going to take my activation cubes off yes. the table. And put your other cubes in reserve. Yes, there they go. You can have a maximum of three of each type in reserve. Toi. Right. Toi. Interrupt. It is my go. Let the carnage begin. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Here we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is charge! I'm going to put that over here. And this guy's going to go. Mm, very intimidating sound. There they go. It's much more intimidating than that attempt at replication or reproduction. <laughs> What attempt at what? Your attempt at the reproduction of a, oh, sound of a French cavalry charge. <laughs> <laughs> so so they charge well. across a field, so they get to uh, re-roll each one combat die each. Oh, that's and, a nasty um, ability. Um, now I'm, I must apologise for the fact that some of these bases are a different colour, but I've painted the bases, and in this particular case it didn't quite work out. So. I'm just remembering that all the uh, mounted units are French. Yes. So uh, we're attacking here. Except and for these ones. <laughs> Except all, for the mounted ones. All the ones with pointy sticks. Yes. So they get six. There they are. Let's go. And I can re-roll three of them. Charge! Oh, that's oh, a shockingly that bad a roll. Terrible roll. That is an atrocious. That's a French cavalry charge if yep. ever I saw one. Um, I get a Maybe. shield there. And I'm going to re-roll... One, 
Oh, got push. One push. And now I can re-roll three, so I'll re-roll oh, these three God, shields. Re-roll is devastating. Um, we want to put uh, that one there. You go. Come on, give me some kills. Oh, oh really bad rolls. Average. That's really bad. So three disrupts and two pushes. That's not very good. No, it's not great. What's your defense, Will? Who are you attacking? Here. Here. Yep. Okay, so they get... Um, get one white, one each, white each plus an extra one for the stakes, one for so stakes four white. each. Four whites. That's... Ooh, one shield. One shield. That's all you've got. So that's we get rid good. of one disrupt. So that's two disrupts and two pushes. So uh, that's enough to get you out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, go I after presume I don't push the wagon. So there you go. Now, I can't follow up because there Jeez. are stakes in It'd the It would be really helpful if you did push the wagon. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think you pushed the wagon. Uh, let me know. Let me know if I'm wrong. And um, now I can't follow up because there are stakes in the way, but I do have two normal uh, orders. I'm going to put one in here and move these two guys back to where they should be. Right. And then I'll activate them again with another unit. And sorry, guard, I don't have time to talk to you. They will move another one up to here. Okay. And just threaten you horribly. And that's the end of my turn. Oh, and there's one other thing I'm going to do, which is spend four experience points to upgrade Ambra's... Uh, Ambra's... Ambro... <laughs> Ambroise? Ambroise? Ambois? Ambois? My French is very poor. I do apologise for it. Ambois de Lore. I'm going to upgrade him to level two. It cost me four experience points. And now he attacks with two... Red uh, dice instead of one. But you've got to spend experience every turn to keep him up there. Actually, this is an extremely good point because I didn't kill anything that turn, so I don't get experience yeah, points. So he'll just revert. So he'll revert. So I won't spend it yet. I'll do it when I have a few more experience points. God, I'm good to you. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Will is very annoyed with himself because he forgot to use his interrupt orders. Yep, I could have attacked them before they moved. Uh, Stupid, blundering very... oversight, and now they're just going to get minced. Yep. Well, not really, because you get to go first next turn, so you have yeah. the first option. Well, you never know. I'm so not it's not do, too bad. I'll do a few puncture wounds before I go down under the flailing hooves. So have you drawn the second round card? Yeah. So, so we get three, three orders. You've already, I've already given you those. Yeah, thank you. you get, there's an interrupt order, three cards, and discard one, or convert actions into points. Hmm. Yeah. It's attractive. Yeah, experience points would be handy, but you lose an order. Yeah. Mm, that's, choices, that's a choices. Very difficult decision. Interrupt is order. Order is good too. I'm going to take an interrupt order. Yeah. That's and hope just, that I actually remember to use it's it. It's irresistible. I'm getting one too. Keep it in my left hand just to remind me. It's <laughs> a little blur. Why don't you embed it in your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I've got to have a turn, and let me think. I've got three greys. Let's, let's give Will some thinking time. Yes, please. Give me some thinking time! <laughs> well, probably not enough. I'm going to activate this area and move these fellas back into it here. Mm -hmm. Retreating up the hill. Are you going to spend a... Oh, you don't have any charge orders, so you can't... No, I, don't. I can still move further. the guy, though. Yeah. I've got another activation order. I will... Oh, God, this is really, really hard to decide what to do in this scenario. Uh, I'll move this guy up into here. And in my last activation order... These fellows are going to do the, the last ditch suicide stand oh dear. against these fellows here. Oh, against them. Yeah. Gee, they're really in a bad position, aren't they? They're right in the middle of two units of charging oh, yeah, they're, they're, heavy cavalry. They're finished. I mean, I, I could have conceivably... No, I couldn't have. There's nothing I could have done. I imagine that would be like, you fire that way. No, you fire that way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm going to need some. Right, who are you firing against? Them, because they've got less defense. All right, fire away. Okay, so that's... Six yellow dice. Come on, make it count. And one re-roll. Oh, it's not very county. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a disrupt and three pushes. Oh, you could do some pushing. Crap. That's pretty good. Um, I've got three blacks. Hmm. Oh, two shields and a disrupt. So two shields, so take away that. So it's two pushes. You get to push two of my units back, which is pretty good. 
Do they have to go to the same place? Yes, uh, attacker chooses an adjacent free or defender allied area where the unit must move. So, no, so uh, two pushes means two push two units, two different, two pushes, different units, yeah. one place each. Correct me if I'm wrong, dear audience, but I think that's true. Right, I'm trying to make life as difficult as possible. It does make a difference to it though, doesn't it? It makes a serious difference to me. Yeah, you've got to use a lot more activations to get them back together. Mm. Okay, it's my turn. Um, I, of course, forgot to use my interrupt order during his turn. I mean, it's a farce, really. <laughs> Complete and utter farce. Um, we've been playing games all weekend. Perhaps our brains are leaking out our ears by this point. However, it is my go. I'm going to activate uh, my... So the annoying thing is that he's put me in two separate areas now and I have to act, put two cubes down to bring them back together, which is really mm. annoying. Frustrating, isn't it? So the first thing I'm going to do is activate these guys and I think I'll wipe out these archers. Okay. Because they're a thorn in my side. <laughs> so that's two, four, that's six plus and why is another one. So I need oh, seven dice. I'm brewing, not putting those stakes down. So here's five. Oh, mm. what, I'm suddenly rolling really badly. Three shields. Re roll, Terrible. Re roll one of them. No, I'm going to roll two of them because I'm five. Oh, hang on, you haven't rolled six yet. Uh, I know, I've rolled five. You I need to roll, roll seven in total. I'm rolling another two. Oh, okay. There we go. Two disrupts. So there we go. I've got two kills and two disrupts. Oh, okay. What's your defense? You've got right. no stakes there, so you roll three white dice. Oh, God, why didn't I put stakes down? I forgot about the extra die. And that's just what you're going to do, which is die one shield. shield that takes off a kill. So I've got one kill and two disrupts. Okay. Off to the graveyard with you and off to the disruption with you and I will follow up. No, I won't follow Can't. up. But you can. I can follow up. Do I want to follow up? No, I don't. It takes me over there. I don't want to go over there. So I'll stay there. Okay, do you get experience points for that? You killed an archer. I did. I get so one, get experience, one point. experience point. There we go. Um, now, what will I do? I think I'll spend my last two to reconsolidate my forces. Okay, so at that Just point you are supposed to say, would you like to interrupt? No, that's your responsibility, not mine. No, it is. It says in the rules you've got to invite the opponent to interrupt. All right. Well, before I do this <laughs> place, any of these actions, would you like to interrupt me, Will? Yes, I would like to interrupt. I'm going to play that. I'm going to, oh, sorry, going to activate this area. Yes. Am I going to activate that area? Yes. And one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move the wagon in there. And this guy, um, he's mounted. Actually, if we just check the rules, it says allow time for your opponent to decide whether to play an interrupt order before you move on to the next order. It doesn't say invite your opponent to play an interrupt order. I think it says something different in the actual rules, but we'll check that later. Uh, now, these fellas can dismount to become normal archers, correct? They can. And then, having done that, I could shoot? Yes, I think you can do it before your action, yes. Right. At the beginning of or end of beginning your activation, of their activation. Yes. Right. Well, I'll, I'll dismount them mm -hmm. and place some of these guys. And then we're going to shoot. Um, don't put them from there, because you can actually bring back dead units. So bring them, put them from oh, okay. here. Yes, all right. Uh, so they're going to shoot at them. Okay. And they've got two yellow dice. Excellent. It's complete and utter failure. Fantastic. Right, can I continue with my turn, please? Yes, you may. Thank you. I will spend one to go there. Would you like to interrupt? Oh, what a really good question. Yes, I will. Where? Well, I'll interrupt here. I don't think you've got the range, do you? Oh, you're on a hill. I'm not talking about shooting, I'm going to move. Oh, okay. So, I'll interrupt. This all seems far too easy. <laughs> I'll move these wagons. You can only fit four into that space. Yes, yes, I know. Let's just take this off for the moment. And who else? Gee, being pushed into those two spaces has really given you an advantage. I'll bring the horses. No, actually, they'll just stay where they are for the moment. Okay. I'm not doing well. I'm doing a bit of a frontal assault, which is failing miserably here. I should be coming around the sides a little bit. Um, it's your turn. I just right. interrupted you. That one there goes there. And that's all I've got. That's a pretty poxy turn. I'm a bit embarrassed by that one. <laughs> um, so we take all the cubes off? That's it. That's the end of the turn. Okay. Remove your cubes. 
Remove cubes. Let's go for round three. You've only got to get to five. I know. You're actually doing okay. Yeah, I'm not is, out of woods yet. Which isn't bad. Um, four activations, which is four great. Activations. And then let's and get some cards. new ones of these. We've mm, got a reactivation. A reactivation. We've got legend or experience. We've got converted normal to a charge. Well, I know what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm actually tempted by that middle one because that would enable me to play some of these cards I've got. Well, then I'm going to take that one and get two, what are they called? Legend. Legend points. And I'm going to convert a normal order to a charge order. Okay. So now it's my turn, correct? It is. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, actually, I might need to think for a minute at this point. All right. Ah, no. What I am going to do oh. is ring the bell. Ah. Ring, 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 ring. The alarm bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ding-a-ding-a-ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ring the bell because I want the peasants to come out swarming and to deploy two English peasants in the village area. Yes. It's quite hard to go down from that falsetto to the to the next bit, isn't it? So do they deploy in the deployment area or anywhere in the village area? Uh, anywhere in the village, I believe, because it just says village, doesn't it? It says area 1B. Yep, that's the whole tile. All right, okay, we'll deploy. Oh, yeah. Look, a bunch of peasants. Yes, scummy peasants with pitchforks. Again, they're, they're blue, they should be red, sorry about that. That's just because I've chosen to paint my bases rather than use other methods to identify them. <laughs> okay, so is that when I can do that? Ring the alarm bell? Once per round? Yep. Right, okay, so that's that. So that didn't require any activation. Damn it. He's brought some peasants on. Right, so now... They're just going to get in the way of my horses, aren't they? They're going to get in the way of everything at the moment. Um, I'm going to activate this fellow and bring him back into here. I'm going to turn them into archers. What about the stakes? I've got four stakes left. And the stakes, <laughs> the are, stakes high. are very high. <laughs> uh, Okay, I've got to get these out of that area. See the decision-making in an average game of Joan of Arc. I'm going to activate this area and bring the wagons into here. Oh, look at them. Way back there. What? They're both back there. How have you done that? You brought both <laughs> wagons way back You've seen to it. where the house is. That is unbelievable. One of them to come up into here. I'd just like to point out, everybody, that I'm obviously putting all of my mental energy into filming and not into playing, and that is why I'm being beaten. Uh, you're not being beaten, you haven't lost yet. Stop panicking. Okay, and then these guys are going to activate. And they're oh. on a hill, so they've got a range of three. Trois, deux, trois. Mm. Or un, deux, trois. I thought you were English. Are you? <laughs> well, the English spoke French in those days. No, that's true. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to deploy some stakes, just because I can. Um, and I might deploy some stakes here too. With these no. guys. What the hell? Here you could go one, two, right? I'll put some stakes here as well. <sighs> okay, now they've all been activated, so they're going to fire. Now, pew, pew, can you? I just point out, you did all that at high speed without any opportunity for me to get an interrupt. Yeah, absolutely order. right. When okay. I activated the, um, who was in here? This, this first archer, I activated him. That yeah. was my first activation. Would you like me to do the whole turn again? Okay, Will's just done a little bit of a rewind, giving me the opportunity so I could play uh, an interrupt order and move my cavalry forward. Now, I've so, got no more interrupt no orders, more. so you can continue the rest of your turn. Thank you. So, just a, a note to players out there, do your turns one at a time, have a little pause between each activation so the other person gets a chance to play an interrupt it order. It requires some discipline because I tend to find if I stop in the middle of what I'm doing, I forget what I was going to do next, which is probably going to happen now. So I'll activate this, right? Move these guys to here. All right, we've seen all this, so we won't subject the viewers to it again. <laughs> okay, so Will has moved his archers back to here. He's now going to fire at my cavalry. So I've got four, so that's eight dice, right? Two yellows each. Okay, okay. and I've got three blacks in defense. Oh, Ooh, lots of blanks. Just bloody roll. So what did I roll? Five, so I've got three to go. Come on! Give me some blanks. Kill something! Ah, oh, um, damn it! Blast it! 
Two disrupts and a shield. Well, the shield's no shield, good. The shield turns into a disrupt. All right, three disrupts. Yeah, three disrupts. Well, I've got three blacks. Come on, give me three shields. Yeah, results. Uh, shield. Two shields, so I get one disrupt. Well, that's pretty good. That's very, very frustrating. You stop one. What'd you expect? <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good result, really. <laughs> one disrupt. <laughs> no, I've got one activation left. Mm. No, I'm going to use weak spot. At any time, choose an enemy unit. This unit is considered to have no skills or powers until the end of the current round. Ouch. Then, so they can't charge. Oh, what? Yes, they've got a weak spot. Oh. That's because they killed John, and everybody <laughs> likes John. <laughs> uh, Simon, they disrupted John. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, John's been disrupted. <laughs> Morale sank. You know, I just don't feel like charging this turn. I just don't. <laughs> Right, it's my turn. Now after this we only have two more rounds, so I can't afford to muck about too much longer. I have some pikemen sitting way back here in the village, mm. who are still sitting at the, at the bar having a few ales, <laughs> and haven't actually done anything of use. Um, this unit here can actually charge, because they've discovered a weak spot, because John died and everyone's very upset. <laughs> so I've got these guys here who are with, are with my commander, which is good. Um, so I must point out that once per round, when he is activated, he gets a charge order, which is crucial and something else I've been forgetting. <laughs> you fool. Um, so I'm going to spend a charge order on these guys now. That's critical. He gets a charge order every turn. Yeah, yeah. When oh, he's activated. Uh, that's just a game changer right there. Yeah. Right, so they're going to charge through here and they're not going to attack. Uh, All right. It's a very French approach. Okay, now he's been activated, so he gets again a charge order. Which is pretty amazing because I can activate him again. Yeah, and so now you can charge around the side it's into the peasants. Around, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I spend that charge order here and goodbye peasants. It's, yeah. it's classic uh, nobility, yeah. isn't it? Um, eschewing the, uh, <laughs> the actual troops here and going for the peasants. <laughs> Yeah, an easy target. it would have been re really helpful if we'd both known about that yep. additional charge factor. That's a classic thing. I might now, have, you don't uh, have any interrupts, so we don't have to worry about Yes, I about do have you. an interrupt, oh, right, but okay. I can't do anything about it, because I know I could have interrupted after that. You can interrupt here if I'm you I'm going wish. to do that. Do you believe right. me, buddy? All right, they're here. And you're at point blank anymore. range, and they're going to give it How to you. How good am I to you, Will? <laughs> so easily I reminded returned. you about the interrupt order. Uh, I would have come to me eventually. It was in my hand. <laughs> Okay, right, what are you gonna do? I'm going to shoot you oh, with my course, peasants. Of course you are. Not with my peasants, with my archers. Yes. Am I? Actually, is that the best thing to do? I don't know. No, I'm going to shoot you with the, with the peasants. The you can ring my bell. It's, just, ring my it's such an appropriate song for a game of bloody medieval slaughter. Right. Okay, Ready? here we go. I've got eight. No, oh, it's not it's really very good crap. at all. Okay, uh, so I've got another three. Oh, pushes could be annoying. No. And that's two shields, so I've got a, a disrupt okay. and two pushes. It could be a bit annoying actually, because if you push, you're going to cause me all kinds of problems. Mm. So I need some shields, quick smart. You've got one. I've got one, only one. Oh, this is very, very, very annoying. So that gets rid of a disrupt, but you've still got two pushes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm going to push oh, that just, oh, him that there. completely stuffs up my plans, and him it? there. Oh, no. Ah, so much for getting the peasants. Okay, watch. Watch and learn. <laughs> As we put an activation token here, bring him back. Yep. Another one here, yep. bring him back. And then your extra charge. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back to me. We're going to charge. Oh, God, it's relentless. I am going to kill those peasants with you. No matter what you do. Poor old Soothsayer gets trampled on the way through. Yes. Out of the way, Soothsayer. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I don't have any interrupts left. No, Can't do anything about it. No, you don't. Oh, there's no stakes either. We'll be able to follow up. So, I have six, seven red dice. Seven red dice. What have the peasants got? Nothing. Oh, they've got yellow. <laughs> they've got cohesion. What's that mean? Oh, nothing. Cohesion means uh, if three units of the same name. No, no I've only got two. Uh, what did I say? Seven. Oh, this is really going to be swords and axes and Ooh, horrible two things. Kills and that and a push. Um, I need two more, so I'll substitute that and that. 
Two more. Come on, give me some kills. Another kill. There you have it. Three kills and three dis uh, two disrupts and a push. That's okay. going to kill those peasants, isn't it? It's looking that way because I got one, one shield. shield. So that does two kills. Goodbye, peasants. Right. And what's more satisfying is I can follow up. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Just sneaked around the side. Four you scurvy before. French dog. Look at that. And here they go. They're in a fresh area, so I can activate them again. Oh, they just keep coming, and now they're going to attack the space with the, um, the wagons. Wagons? Wagons. Isn't it? That would be the word you're yep, looking for. That's the wagons. So here we go. That's another seven. Okay, dice. I've got retaliation. That's a kill, and three disrupts, and we'll just replace. We need two more. So uh, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, that, is that right? Yep. Alright, okay. So one kill and four disrupts. Okay, and I've got one red defense die. Alright. <laughs> That's not very really good, is it? Come on, I want to kill because I've got retaliation. Yeah. <sighs> now, Damn it, push. only a push. That doesn't work in retaliation, it's only kill and disrupt results, so that doesn't do anything. So he's so dead. He's dead. So you get an experience point for that. Experience point. Actually, Thank I think you, you get more than that. You get two. Two experience points. Lovely. Um, now the question is, can I, I assume I can, follow up again? Oh, Except I, I can't all fit in there, can I? No, you can only fit two of them uh, in there. Defense, yeah, okay. So I'll put two in there. The wagons are mine, my friend. And in fact, if I, if I gain control of the wagons, what can I get? Experience points? You get an experience point every time you gain control of a wagon. Okay. Uh, so now it's the next turn. Oh god, there's still two turns to go. Now I should point out, of course, that at the end of each turn we've been doing our rally rolls. So some of the people in the infirmary have come back. I just got back some sergeant at arms there. We've got back a, a bowman unit in the village, which is handy. Um, we also had the wrong size building. We had a size 2 building on here. We should have a size 1 building. So that's the maximum we can fit in that space, which is 4. So. Um, we're all set up and we're ready for the next turn. We've taken, have you taken your um No, I haven't done that yet. Here? No, so I'm going to discard this card to gain two experience points. Right. Which I'm going to use to ring the bell. Okay, not yet though. Um, I am going to, all choices. I could move one of my rally points, I could get a charge. I think it's time to get another charge. I'll get a charge order. And Will, it's your turn. Okay. Now, this is our second last turn, yeah, so make them count. Pressure's on. Pressure's on, and okay. you know, after all the mucking about, this is quite a balanced scenario it's, it's, when you play it properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. On the third attempt. Yes. Okay, I'm going to spend an experience to ring the bell. It's a ring my bell. bell. And that brings on, what do I do? You're probably going to get a, a, two English peasants. a royalties request for that. Oh God! I remember we did a recording in the studio where they recorded that song. The people who ran the place had a very strange taste in music, as you can see from that song. <laughs> yes. um, so I get peasants. They can't come on there. They can only come on here. Okay. Oh, it's getting very crowded in the village. It is. Very so messy. Now I'm going to activate this space and I'm going to fire on him. Okay, it is indirect fire, isn't it? So it yep. is indirect fire. Wow. So you have just a few push results, and you're going to kick me out of there. So it's oh, anything maybe. could happen. These guys, I'm going to activate these guys. Actually, from this angle, it really does look like just a grand melee. <laughs> They're attacking you. That's only one unit there. There's only one unit there. Oh, he's just got a defensive uh, one black. Yeah. This is not. Oh, that's a great roll. Lots of blanks. Okay, and now the peasants. Oh, oh yeah! Three peasants. disrupts and a They're push. They're really pissed off. Three Gee. disrupts and a well, push. Well, you know, I am. You know, um, charging over the cobblestones of their village. Yes. Probably pushing small children out of the way and Under, trapping them underfoot. <laughs> yeah, skewering the odd wife. Um, one, skewering the odd wife. Oh dear. Well, this was medieval times. It was horrible. It's brutish and short. Um, that's not going to do me any good whatsoever. Um, that wrong. is really serious. I really wish I'd done it on that space, but anyway. Yeah. All right, he can follow up. So look, he's taken that over. You get two experience points because you've grabbed the um, yeah the baby wagons again. Excellent. Okay, so they're activated. <sighs> the peasants are going to attack you. This is just classic village melee, isn't it? <laughs> They've only got two dice because they're rubbish. Okay, here we go. Bloody peasants. 
Oh, two pushes! Two pushes. Okay. Oh, that's all right. I can beat that. Um, only, well, I've got two it. blacks. And I've got another black from Amboire Delore. Here we go. Come on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, it's one shield. No, Just so one shield. One, oh, one push. How so annoying. Which one I push? Should I push him out? He's got, he's Very him. irritating indeed. Okay, I'll push him out. <laughs> Peasants come swarming out with clubs and pitchforks and everything. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, give me that again. <laughs> Stay out of my village. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> okay. Sorry, now, that was a horse sound. It was an attempt at a horse sound, anyway. Now, they are activating. And they're <gasps> shooting at you. Oh, stop it. No, I'm not going to stop it. This is very uh, frustrating. Look, I just want those wagons. I'll let you all go if you just give me the wagons. <laughs> Good men died to steal this plunder. You're not getting it. Eight dice. Here it comes. Uh, and I turn shields into disrupts. Eight dice? No. You don't have any interrupts or anything? No? no, I don't. Okay, that's a really crap roll. Good. Oh, lots of shields. Oh dear. It's the crappiest roll I've ever done. Here we go. Oh, oh, just two pushes. Two pushes. Not that's very good. Who am I defending here? Um, that's only two blacks. The problem with the defense on the horses is that you only get one dice. So it's all very well to have a nice, you know, chunky black dice, but you only get one oh, of them. They're all about attack, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, here we go. No, oh, nothing. Oh, see, this is not exactly what I wanted because now I'm going to push them all back into the same area. Excellent. Yep, there's nowhere else they can go, so they have to go there. Uh, they have to push much. them? Oh, yes. You sure? You sound very sure. Well, I've checked. <laughs> I'm just assuming it because it benefits me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say anything about can or should or would. It's just do it. Uh, all right, okay. Well, they're pushed. Oh, I'll push back into the fields. Mm. Since so those can't get out of my fields. Mm -hmm. Stop trampling my corn. I'm trying to make a living. <laughs> Have you finished? You've got one, well, more, act I've order got one left. more activation, but I can't do anything with it. Well, you can hold it in reserve. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that, obviously. But... Right, now it's time to show those peasants who's boss. <laughs> the French are here. They're on horses. They don't care. And um, I'm going to... The first thing I'm going to do is spend four experience points to upgrade Amboy de Loire mm. to second level. So he now does two red instead of one red. Mm. Yes, because he's angry. <laughs> you know, there's peasants, peasants everywhere. Um, they can't, we're the flower of French chivalry. <laughs> so uh, then I'm going to charge. Here we go, Hop! into the village. We'll show you who, what's what. Into the peasants. Well, this is going to be messy. Oh, it's going to be so, horrible. So uh, two red, and so that's six red, all up. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four. There's another red over there. Um, by the way, he's been activated, so I'm going to charge. Ah! Come on, roll, goddamn you! Goodbye, peasants. No, uh, no, that's, that's not very good that's at not all. Very good it is. So that's five. I get another one. Is that right? Six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, two disrupts and two pushes. Not great. What's your defense, though? Not very good, I imagine. Two yellows. Two yellows. Well, actually, I don't have any defense according to this. Oh, good. So you are peasants. What does that mean? You just die. <laughs> That's what peasants do. So you're both, both disrupted. There we go. And I, I can only move in one. Yes. How come you had two units in there, my friend? Well, it's academic now. They're both dead. I got one. <laughs> I think you, you could, could put four. Four. One, oh, two, the three, four. You could put one right, unit right. in there. Well, in that case, I'll leave him in there. No, 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 you won't. I've killed them now. They're dead. <laughs> um, and I will put... Oh, my commander. No. Ooh. Oh, uh, problems of yeah. command. Oh, look, it just feels right, doesn't it? Having the commander there with the wagons. And that gives me another two experience because I've regained control of the wagons. <laughs> right, the next thing I'm going to do is charge with these guys. Oh, God, it's just relentless. And they will charge over here, get rid of those stakes, and charge into that. Look, you're being attacked on both sides because mm. the French are annoyed. These guys are just having a few beers back here in the, in the ale house. And uh, they're going to attack with two, so that is four, four dice. dice. Oh, look at that, we can actually don't have to do any re-rolls. We've got enough dice. Yes, four dice, here we go. 
Uh, that is two kills and a disrupt. Okay, now I get, um, when defending, I can alter after the attack roll and the attacker's modifiers, replace all attackers' disrupts by pushes. Ah. So that becomes a push. Gee, that's a really good ability. Mm. Change that to a push, please. Okay. Isn't that after what? After the attack roll. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, defending. I'm also in hills, which means that I've got retaliate. Oh, no, retaliate. And I've got stakes, so I get an extra dice. So this is going to be hurty time, I hope, for you. Mm. I've got four archers with stakes, so that's eight white dice, plus this guy who's got a black. Wow. Archers and hills are good. Uh, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's four. No, don't get too excited. You only get to do one result. What do you mean I only get to do one result? This unit can apply kill and disrupt results. Obtain oh, I thought there was only one. Oh, you can apply all kill and disrupt results. Yes. Okay, so I've rolled five whites. I get three more. What the? That's another one. And I need... Okay, I need more dice. I need to represent these with yellow dice. All right. Come on, where are you? you eight white dice. Was eight it? white dice. So they've got two eight. Oh no, they've only got four. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> no, no, because the stakes. Yeah. Yeah, it is eight. Okay, that's a shield and that's a push. So we got, in the end. Is got... there a shield? Didn't you roll a shield? Yeah. Okay, well that gets rid of a kill result. Shields still work. Oh, I see. You're attacking me. I'm attacking you. Right, yes. You've completely still forgotten work. that, haven't you? <laughs> Get so excited about the retaliation. Yeah, right. Okay, so you did a kill and a push. Yeah. And what did I do? Well, uh, a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I've, I've killed one. Um, right. Killed one and pushed one. Okay, so he's killed. Can I choose to... This is the thing. I yeah, you can push him, him, but you I could push him, him, couldn't I? You can wound him if you want. No, I'll just push him. Oh, you bastard. Right. And now, what have you done to me? I've done one, two, three, four, five disrupts and a push. Oh, wow, retaliation is insane. Mm. Right, so you've disrupted, disrupted my entire unit. Yep. Well, you charged uphill into stakes. Yeah, against well, Against bowmen. Yes, but, yes. <laughs> Details. I should have gone around the side or something, didn't I? Oh, rush it right to the head. Yes, it is. Yeah, now, but I've got three uh, activation tokens still. Oh, God, well, you, you can just run around and kill everything. Yeah, well, that's the idea. So um, they will activate and they will both try to kill all these peasants and bowmen and stuff. They'll go against your two bowmen here. So that's four red against your bowmen. I've got a really oh, bad feeling about three this. Three kill and a disrupt. That's pretty good. You've only got two whites in defense. Mm. Oh, it's only one shield, so that's two kills. They are done, my friend. Done, done, done. I'll get experience dinner. points. And I'm going to go follow up on there. It gives me into a fresh area. Oh, this is fast now. I'm getting where, massacred. Where I can attack again. Oh, God. <laughs> you go. It's tempting to go for your commander. What's his defense? One black. One black. He's in, he's in hills though. How many wounds has he got? I think so. He's only got one. I think I'm going to kill your commander. Oh. Four dice. He's in hills. Does he get retaliation? Ah, oh, he probably would. Well, they both do, so what the hell. Well, yeah, but I mean, his cavalry. Do they cavalry get retaliation in hills? Uh, uh, Defenders. Yes, they do. Defenders, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, four disrupts. That could have been a lot better. And I get one black. Yeah. That's pretty crap. That's a disrupt. But you disrupt one. Yep. Right, because um, William de la Pole uh, didn't have any hit points on his card, he was disrupted. So mm. he's gone off to the infirmary. That's got to be a bit of a morale blow. It's, it's um, pretty but packed in the of, old infirmary. Look at it. But I am running out of guys to defend the, uh, yeah, that's the, true. the thing here. So really, what we do in the rally phase here is very important. I do, however, have one more activation. So I'm going to spend it over here. And the pikemen are finally going to come out of the pub. <laughs> and start moving forward slowly. And that is the end of the turn. Don't forget, we've forgotten to use our reroll tokens again, oh, as we always do. And we have one more turn to go. It's crucial. Turn it over. Well, when do we do this? Do we do this first? Oh, sorry, let's do our rally phase first. Yes. That's, that's very important. Yeah. So, so these guys come, come on. They come back on. 
I uh, can't bring them on because you've got that's a... That's the rally point, isn't it? Oh, my rally point's occupied. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem. All right, well, we'll... That's well... one of the crucial strategies in this game, actually, is grabbing the rally point. Mm -hmm. Another bandage mm -hmm. in my leader. Leader, it's crucial. Yes, oh, he comes rallies. back, but he can't come but on. he can't come on. So he goes in here. Uh, I don't know if he does, but anyway, never mind. Okay, doesn't, doesn't matter. Now you. Um, so I've got uh, four. That would be the die you need. So one is a rally. Oh, here we go. Mm, this is two. Good. Uh, another rally. They're all coming back. They're all coming out of the pub. Oh, one of them's dead. One's dead. You get experience points for that. Excellent. Believe. And one stays disrupted. For each mounted units, I get two experience points. Well, well, you've, you've had a valiant attempt, but. It's looking pretty good for me, unless you wipe out mm, these. Yeah, well, anything could happen, because it's the last turn, and we get four activation points. Anything could happen. Yep, and also during this phase I have to spend an upkeep to keep my guy at level two. I yes, you do, out. you do have Just to do that. experience point to do. So, oh god, they're all completely useless. Oh, experience points at this stage are not very satisfying. Uh, if there was something that said exchange experience points for an action, that would be useful. Yeah, or is that a double-headed arrow? No. No, it's not. Uh, oh, they are really useless, aren't they? I don't even have any cards. Yeah. They're not much good to man nor beast. Uh, I'll take I'm three not... experience points. Yeah, yeah, what the hell. Uh, peasants. Oh, wouldn't that be terrible if you won the game by grabbing the supply wagons with peasants? <laughs> May yet happen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to activate them. Okay, so how many hit points has your leader got? Have I pointed out, by the way, that we have these wonderful uh, rule summaries that I've created, and you can get them at the Esoteric Order of Gamers website, orderofgamers.com. Back to the game. He's got, I've got six biomen firing. Oh dear, I've got three wounds, I'd like to point out. Yeah, no, it's a problem, but what can I do? Yeah. He's got the wagons. Yeah, what can you do? I could roll better than that. That's a shield, so I get rid of the disrupt. That's just two pushes. Two pushes. Oh, I what happens here with the pushes? Well, I presume I have to put you in there. Um, you can only do one, yeah. You don't do two, you only do one per unit, so yeah. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. That's not much good. Peasants are going to activate and move in here. Of course they are. And then they're going to activate again from here and attack you. Oh! And they've only got two dice. Oh dear. But they do have disrupt oh, and gee, push. Those angry peasants, they're pretty angry. Um, so in this case I've got two blacks. A kill and a shield, so I get uh, just Damn a push. It. So you can so push one unit. I'll push this guy out here. That's annoying. Right, anything else? I haven't got anything else to activate. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm all out. Okay, it's my go. Okay, so we just realised I stuffed this up again by putting two peasants in there, but we've remedied that. Yes, and unfortunately we'll put both of the wagons in the space with the building, thus allowing only one space to put a unit in. Yes, it's very stupid. Um, so I'm going to start off by activating my leader, who is going to move into here. And because he gets activated, he gets a charge order. I really hate that ability. It really is, and now I'm going to spend that charge order here and charge into the peasants. <laughs> one peasant unit is all that stands between me and victory. <laughs> Oh, that's very entertaining. So that is four red dice. <laughs> Come on, peasants. Die, English peasant scum. Well, I've got no defence, so we know how this is going. I've got no defence. <laughs> oh dear. That is uh, one kill. That's a death. Three defence. He's gone. The uh, Take it up with my leader, who starts plunging his hands into the piles of plunder and <laughs> scattering them over himself in a sort of Uncle Scrooge-like... <laughs> Exaltation. And then get stabbed and in the back with a peasant pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a win, my friends, for the French. Very, very close game, surprisingly, in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And the trick, clearly, is to safeguard this side because the French scummy cavalry come charging around here, and before you know it, they've got behind you. Yes, and um, I would have put these in different spaces. So yeah, were, that would have been a good tricky. idea. Um, and in spaces where you could defend them, you put three units in there to defend them. Failing to understand the building being a, a, a space taking up a thing and having the wrong size. A space taking on. up a thing. <laughs> Object, <laughs> thing I think, is the word. Space. <laughs> yes. No, space taking up a thing works. Okay, yeah, sure. That was, yeah, that sort of uh, 
bent my head a little bit, but yeah. uh, on the whole, once we sort of got our act together, we got it mostly right. It was actually a really fun game. It's interesting because when we first uh, set up the scenario to play it for the first time, um, we immediately thought, oh, the English are doomed because there's just a bunch of archers in the middle surrounded by cavalry. And we started playing it and we stuffed things up a bit with the interrupt, interrupt orders. And it did seem that it was very unbalanced. And now that we've got the interrupt orders right and we're doing everything correctly, because we haven't played Joan Park for a little while. Mostly correctly. Um, we've found that this, yes, it is a balanced scenario. It came quite down to the wire. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a beauty. The time factor is important. If there was one more turn, I don't think the English would have a chance in hell. Mm. As it was, uh, it was still pretty close. Just a couple of different rolls. And I didn't use my re-roll token, which is really frustrating. Um, this is for some straight... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big 3D re-roll token. So you know, like a big cube sitting on a token. Like a die? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> How about uh, that? Something, or maybe on a plinth or something. Because <laughs> you always forget to use this thing. Something maybe with a neon blinking yes. light. Use me, use me, use me. And an annoying tone. Da-da, <laughs> 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 da, -da. da, -da. da, -da. Well, folks, that's it, Joan of Arc. It's a fantastic game. It's a good think. game. But I must point out, before you go any further, yes. the significant thing about this particular battle report of Joan of Arc, look at the figures. What is it that you notice? They're all painted. They're all painted. And doesn't that look fantastic? As usual, the standard at the Esoteric Order of Gamers of painting is exceptionally high. And, in fact, it's got to the point now where I basically refuse to play a game with Peter if he hasn't painted the figures. Yeah, I've got to do a lot of work to entertain Will. Yep, standards are kept high by expectation. The battle in the village just looked fantastic with all the different forces in the melee there and they're all painted and look really great. It's visually, it's absolutely spectacular and it plays really well as well. Uh, that's Joan of Arc, highly recommended by the EOG. Mm, it's a great and game. Of course, go and get the rules summary from my website and it'll make it even easier to play. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see uh, what's happening every time a video is released. Hit the all notifications button just uh, so you get that notification. And of course, follow me on social media. Go and check out the website, orderofgames.com, and check out the Patreon channel too because channels like this do need monetary support from people. We love to give out all this stuff for free, but also we do need funding to pay our costs. So um, I appreciate it if you do that. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for playing well. Thank you, Peter. I enjoyed it enormously once we got our act together. We will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye now. Or should I say, au revoir, Jean d'Arc. <laughs>